I have been so excited for today's video for so long. We are in Tbilisi, Georgia, and today we are gonna be running around the city and trying a bunch of delicious traditional foods, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. We're actually right outside of our first two stops right now, so we're gonna go inside and get some food. <laughs> I don't want to know how big the, the normals are. If these are three minis, we are going to be stuck. We're going to need a two hour long break <laughs> after our first stop. So we got three mini kachapuri, and this is definitely one of the most popular dishes, at least among tourists. We've seen it everywhere. Almost every restaurant that we've been to has had this on the menu, and we haven't tried it yet. We've been saving it for today. But so we got three kinds here. We got one that is cheese and spinach. One in the middle, which is the traditional one, it is cheese, an egg, and butter. And the egg still looks very raw, so we're gonna have to mix that up a little bit. And then we got one that I'm very hesitant on, but it's cheese. Gorgonzola cheese. Gorgonzola cheese, pear, and nuts. And then other cheese on top, or like included. <laughs> other cheese with the <laughs> gorgonzola cheese. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a ton of food, but it looks delicious, so I'm excited to try it. Very raw. Oh gosh, there's like, I don't really know how to mix it up. <laughs> Is it the same cheese, just spinach added? Oh, shoot, I didn't even get any cheese. <laughs> Underneath the spinach, I think it is the same cheese as that. But I was expecting kind of like a spinach artichoke dip, like kind of more hearty. But that spinach mixture is actually pretty light. It's really good. It tastes, it's probably still not in any way healthy, really, but it tasted healthier than I was expecting it to. And that's also really good. Okay, let me get the last one over with and then we're going to dig it. Just go at it with your hands. I don't want to go at it with my hands, it's hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I going to be eating it by myself? I like that more than I was expecting to. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting it to be desserty with all the cheese in it, but it's much less desserty than I was expecting. I don't usually like the warm kind of fruit stuff, like with the pear, but it's actually really good. It all works really well together. It may still be my least favorite of the three, but it's still really good. The first two set high, high bar for, for passing. to quit here and <laughs> get the rest of this to go because we are going to be stuffed if we eat all of this. So we're going to stop here and we're going to head over to our next spot. I'm glad we had the self-control to stop ourselves before we ate all of it so that we could keep trying food. And I wanted to do a quick rave about our waitress there. She was so sweet. She was just helping us going through the menu and helping us decide what we wanted. At the end, she gave us a map of places to see in Tbilisi, and she was just wonderful. We, we loved that experience. In talking about that last place, we accidentally walked past our next spot. It's literally right next door. <laughs> so, unlike the last place, we actually have tried this meal, and it's been one of our favorite things. This has been our third time. This will be our third time getting this it. This will be our fourth. This will be our fourth time getting it. 
it's called King Kali, and it's, it's a soup dumpling. And so they have like, we got one with meat on the inside, and they have soup all surrounding it. So it's like soup, it's like a beef stew inside of the dumpling. And so it makes it kind of interesting having to eat it, because what you're supposed to do is you bite a little bit to it, suck out the soup, and then you start eating all the stuff inside. So if you didn't know that going in, then you might spill the soup bottle out. That was a huge hole. <laughs> and the broth is just so good. The beef ones have definitely been our favorite, but the broth in it has just been so amazing. And that's a lot of broth. There was a lot in there. Yeah, I know. It's the best part. Not only are these some of the most delicious, like this is one of my favorite dishes that we've ever had, but it's also just kind of fun to, to drink the broth out of it before you eat it. <laughs> Most of the places that we've gone, if not every place, has had an option of meat without herbs and meat with herbs. And we haven't tried the one without herbs, but like with, you can see it just like mixed in the meat a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah. With herbs has been so amazing, so delicious every time. We've also tried one of King Kali with potatoes, which was very, very good. It was kind of just mashed potatoes. It just didn't have any kind of broth or anything in it. It was just dry and mashed potatoes, and that was delicious. We also tried King Kali with cheese, and I think that was probably our least favorite, but we also, I think, ordered way too many, so by the time we were done, we were kind of over them, but yeah. they were still very good. I was yeah. very, I was pleasantly surprised by the cheese ones, so definitely we're trying all of them. I think, yeah, we're gonna have these maybe every single day over. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then the last part is just go. So apparently you're supposed to leave it. So everywhere that we've seen has said to leave the stuff, but we can't tell if it's considered rude or disrespectful to eat it, or if people just completely find it unappetizing. It's literally just a little bit tougher dough. It doesn't seem like it'd be that bad, but seeing as we don't know if people ever consider it as being rude, we've been leaving it, but I think mostly it's just people find it totally unappetizing. <laughs> officially stuffed so we need a little bit of time to get a little hungry again and Marshall needs to get his history fixed in for the day so we're gonna head over to a museum so we just left the museum and since this is a food video I'm not actually gonna talk about it that much but it was a super fascinating museum it was the Georgian National Museum and they had an exhibition going on about the Soviet occupation of Georgia and I'm really interested in the Soviet period so I, I enjoyed walking through it, learned quite a bit, but we're gonna head to our next stop, which is just right across the street. Well, our next stop was a little more on the beaten path than we were <laughs> expecting it. This dessert shop that we were heading to, I, would, I, I shouldn't even call it a dessert shop, that's a stretch. Yeah, in a, a stall <laughs> inside of a grocery store, inside of a huge oh. mall on the most popular street in Tbilisi, I'm pretty sure. There's, 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 a, there's a few more than a few people yeah. here. It was a little hard to find though. The grocery store was in the basement of the mall That's and true. the little dessert stand was tucked all the way in the back corner. So it was a little hard to find and we got some church kayla to try. I've seen on multiple places where people refer to this as the Georgian Snickers, which I'm really, I'm excited I feel like my, expect. I feel like I'm curious how much that alters your expectations for it because they're made out of grapes. So we got one that is red grape with walnuts inside. And she said this one has more walnuts. And then we got one made from white grapes. And this one's supposed to be a little juicier, so less walnuts and more grapes, I guess. So you wanna try the red one? Yeah. And I can try the white, because I think I was more excited about this one. Oh, such a weird consistency. So I don't know how to eat these properly because it's like on a string. It looks like a candle. It looks like a it looks like like a wax candle. It kind of feels it feels rubbery. It's like slightly squishy. What do you do when you find the string? Just peel it off or like pull it pull it down. It does the, the outside I didn't get any any kind of nuts in that part, but it does kind of just taste like dried fruit. Oh there's the string. <laughs> I wouldn't quite call it Snickers. <laughs> it's nothing like a Snickers. No. But it's a much less sweet mixture than I was expecting for it to be called the Georgian Snickers. I feel like that's not... I don't taste any caramel. No. It or looks chocolate. like caramel. It's kind of like a thick 
fruit leather type thing wrapped around nuts. Next so this one. one, the white grape, you said was more sweet and the red grape should be more sour. So I'm interested to try that one. Does it taste more sour? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it's definitely more sour. Yeah, it's literally just the fruit stuff. And then walnuts on the inside. Yeah. It's just like two ingredients. I don't know how this is supposed to be like Snickers, but I think it's really good. I like the sweeter one more. Comparing it to Snickers is really trying to just make some kind of... I feel like it's just making a connection that you like so that you'll buy more of it. Maybe. Because like this is good, but not comparable to Snickers at all. Because I can see looking at it. Visually, yeah. visually it's yeah, comparable, yeah. but taste-wise, not at all. Sweet. Well, I think these two are lasting us the rest of our time in Georgia. So. Ah! I guess that's it for our extremely authentic um, Church Kelly so we bought tasting in the experience in the mall. It's good. It's good. I feel like it's we've good. been we've been kind of harsh on it. Not Snickers. <laughs> Not Snickers at all. Pretty good though. So I think the church kella was the one and only kind of small thing that we're getting for this food tour. And we're still not completely hungry after lunch. So I think this is gonna be one of those times where we're still full tomorrow morning because we're so stuffed tonight. Because <laughs> we still have a lot more to try. So I was expecting to only get one thing here, but there's so much on this menu I want to try. It sounds like so good. I'm really glad we came here. I was thinking of saving a glass of wine for the last place that we go to, but this place is so cute. I feel like it's fitting here. I think I'm going to get a glass of wine. So we got to try two different wines, and we don't know anything about wine. We chose this one because it tasted better. They've all been super smooth while we've been here, and this one we've especially like. It's, and I'm going to butcher this name because the sound is so hard to make because we just don't have it in English, but it's called... It's a very throaty <laughs> sound. <laughs> it's K-H-I-K-H-V-I. It's like... <laughs> it's so hard. I don't know how to do it. It's like... <laughs> that, was, that, was, that one was okay. Notes of white wine. <laughs> that sounds so Tastes powerful. lighter than white wine. So, <laughs> that's, that's my review. <laughs> whoa, whoa, it has like spinach in it. Oh, beet leaves. <laughs> There's so many letters in this that apparently are silent if what I'm about to say is correct, which I don't think that it is. But what we just got is called Clovani. Clovana. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I think, I think. We think it's called Clovana. It's a mountain-style pie with meat leaves, and it smells phenomenal. Honestly, I feel like this is kind of fitting. It smells like some, like a side you'd have for Thanksgiving, and next week is Thanksgiving. I, oh, man, we're just, I just, my mind is on spinach artichoke dip. I feel like it smells like a spinach artichoke dip somehow, which is the same thing that I said this morning <laughs> with our kachapuri. So let's see, okay. That is so good. That is delicious. I feel like this is the perfect thing to have a glass of wine with. I'm so happy I didn't save my wine for the last stop of the night. This is perfect. Why do you say that? I don't know. It's just like the leafy kind of... Something about the leaves. Just feel like it would pair wonderfully with wine for all my... Um, With your extensive education. wine knowledge. Yeah, my very little wine knowledge and my unsophisticated palate. <laughs> but this is delicious. Usually I understand Marshall being impatient when I want to get videos of the food first, but we've had so much food today, and he's still being impatient. You see how good it looks? <laughs> so our next dish. It's called shkmeri. It's like this creamy chicken. It kind of, it looks like and kind of smells like Tuscan chicken, if you've ever had that, which is just like one of the best meals ever, I think. <laughs> it's deep fried chicken with ginger, Garlic cream. sauce. Oh, garlic sauce. And or chilies. Garlic sauce and chilies. Sounds amazing. Oh, 
I saw that. It's so creamy, and the oil on it, and the, the herbs, the garlic, it's just, it's so perfect. I would, if we had a spoon, oh, we have a spoon. <laughs> Wait, we have bread. And there's bread? <laughs> I was gonna say, I would just, I would just, like, drink spoonfuls of the sauce, but we have bread to dip in, which is even better. <laughs> bread and the sauce is really good. I feel like this is definitely a situation like earlier where we should probably get this to go because we're going to be totally stuffed afterwards. No, 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 no. But I don't think I have the power this time to box this up for later. I think we're going to eat every bit of this right now. <laughs> it would be a shame to keep this up. It's just too perfect right now. We could probably, we could, we could heat this up. No, I'm finishing that. It's amazing. It's, it's all amazing. Mm -hmm. I, already, <laughs> I don't want it to end. I don't care how full I get. I don't want this to end. <laughs> Thank you. We definitely did not save any for later. <laughs> it got so dark out here since we went inside that restaurant. I am very happy that we have a long ride to our last stop. I think it's about a 40 minute, 45 minute bus ride to the complete opposite side of the city. So we're on our way to the bus stop right now. <laughs> and did the wine make you sleepy? <laughs> so that food was absolutely amazing, but it definitely was a lot more expensive than anything else we've had, which I think mostly was the wine. Um, in total, it was, I think, about $34, I think is what it just said. Yeah. And But I mean, for two dishes, two phenomenal dishes and two glasses of wine, that's obviously not bad but definitely more expensive than the rest of the stuff that we've had here so far yeah i think the wine was like over five dollars per glass so oh i thought it was more than that okay either way <laughs> thank you i think this journey is going to be longer than we expected i think it's over an hour until <laughs> we get there maybe we won't be stuck by the time i get there ride took about 45 minutes longer than it was supposed to so longer? yeah we got stuck in a ton of traffic there was uh. a bunch of construction marshall slept through all of it so he didn't know that this restaurant may not get the love that it deserves from us tonight we may be taking a lot of this home but it still sounds like a really cool restaurant and we spent an hour and a half if not more than that to get here so we're gonna try something the restaurant also closes in about an hour so hopefully we um yeah even if we wanted to eat a lot i don't think they would let us stay for very long yeah, hopefully it's not cold so yeah hopefully hopefully we can get in period it's it's 8 45 <laughs> it's i doubt it's full <laughs> we gotta get close here the kitchen closes in two minutes i ordered with two minutes <laughs> Honestly though, like, I feel like this day has been one of our more successful ones. Like, mostly, usually our luck is if we were going to cut it that close, we would have been two minutes late. And we're two minutes yeah. early this time. Yeah, it's pretty good. The reason that we wanted to come all the way to this restaurant was because it has food from the Kakeli region in Georgia, and it looked phenomenal. What we got, we got one thing, and... I guess if we weren't super full and had more than two minutes to order, we may have gotten more. But all we got was a mitzvah body. From the pictures online, it looks like a lot of pork. It looks like just so much meat and some onions, and it looks delicious. I hope it's good. I hope it's worth the two-hour drive over here. <laughs> this smells so good. The smell is making up for it already. How is it? The second that touched my tongue, my body forgot that I'm stuffed and I now want to eat all of it. <laughs> it's so good. Like, it's, it's not like barbecue. It's like a, a pork fish kebab, kind of. Like, it tastes like good quality. Good quality pork. 
I'll say this is worth it. I wish we had enough more room. No. I wish we had enough room in our stomachs to try more stuff here. But if this is any indication of the rest of their food, this is an awesome place. <laughs> this is really good. I really had every intention of taking one bite to try it and then bringing the rest home. <laughs> we, we completely finished all of that food. I can't believe we had it in us. And I hope we don't get sick on the car right now. I think that was a very successful food day. We had so, so much, much food. food. <laughs> I'm excited to see if we try any more new dishes during our time in Georgia. Check out our next video to see if we keep up our five day streak of having King Kali every day of our trip here. We don't regret it. No.